Zoe, who in your family is calling this movie The Catwoman? I mean, wait, is it not called The Catwoman? It is called The Catwoman. Okay. One. Bruce Wayne. I'm sorry. I wouldn't be bothering you here, but your people keep telling me you're unavailable. Which of your many fight moves, my term, are you proudest of in this film? The bat and the cat. That when you saw it, you went, okay, I look amazing. It's got a nice ring. Ooh, I think my kicking's pretty impressive. I'm That's pretty sure. impressive. I mean, it's obviously not all me, but a lot of it. It's not really a fight move, but when I electrocute the guy. That's very cool. It was very fun, because when you're doing that and you're seeing <laughs> and we're both pretending that, that it's happening. It's like, <laughs> it's like, is this gonna work? <laughs> and it really looks like it's actually already happening. So Rob, how long did the whispery voice last? The Christian Bale early Batman Begins voice? Who's the mustache with the broken nose? Uh, it, well, I shot the movie for like 18 months, so it lasted that amount of time. <laughs> and uh, uh, yeah, it kind of, I think your larynx like kind of gradually shrinks out. I guess I don't know whether it's a loose larynx. Yeah, you have a looser larynx if the more you strengthen it. Loose larynx, um, this is your new DJ Loose name. larynx, sink, sink, <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, mom, that's just a car. Uh, but yeah, it kind of, I, I noticed when I went back to do ADR for it, my voice had, my, I, they, my head retracted. <laughs> um, it's hard. Uh, it's, like, it's hard on you. Yeah, it's on hard. On your larynx. It's hard. Here we are. I was wondering whether any actors, and you're all very professional, were tempted to do the Batman voice because, frankly, it is so much fun. We're pretty good at that. I low key think Jeffrey Wright and you are having like a voice off. <laughs> <laughs> Be saying Kinsey Moon Knights with the Penguin. There's actually um, a, an audio series out now uh, in which I do voice the Batman. Uh, it's on HBO Max. You can go check it out. Um, it's, we did that, I think, about five years ago. And I had almost be forgotten that we did it. Never tempted to say, Rob, that's good, that's good. But just a quick note from a man who's done it before. And by the way, forgotten that he's done it before. <laughs> what are the discomfort levels in order of these three characters? Bobby from Horrible Bosses. You need me to tell you when I'm going to go pee pee? Bullseye in Daredevil and the Penguin in the Batman. <laughs> Bobby, Bullseye, and then the Penguin, surprisingly. Um, I think Bobby, Pallet, because the prosthetics in, I think I had a, I think I had literally had, we did it kind of DIY, so I had a, a cushion stitched into my T-shirt, which was as, as high brow as we went on Horrible Bosses, and that was always appearing as a cushion, so I kept on having to tuck the cushion into me crotch to kind of make it look like a belly, and that was all a bit ill-fitting, um, as good as the comb-over was, um, and it would melt a little bit, and then the long trench coat was kind of rubber uh, on Daredevil, and that was very uncomfortable and hard to move in. This, surprisingly, I forgot. I was wearing makeup after a while. I mean, I was always kind of aware, but I, I, I also kind of forgot. Did you ever see Colin Farrell in the canteen and flat out just not recognize him? I was more confused when I saw Colin Farrell as Colin Farrell because I was so used to seeing him as the Penguin. The first day that we were to film together, I walked right past him, I, you know. I was kind of waiting for, for, for Colin to show up so that we could rehearse. Yeah, basically, it's, and uh, and he was standing right next to me. But I went into the coffee shop in Warner Brothers lot and I ordered a, an oat milk latte. Don't you know? As <laughs> as Oz and uh, got a couple of glances. Nobody knew why or what they were looking at, but it is a, it's a strange looking cat, the Oz. Yeah, but LA's used to work, so it's all fine. Sometimes he'd have the head on, he'd, have, he'd put the head, the face on and first. With that, and, yeah, and, and his body. body, and that was really disorienting. And his body language when he didn't have the kind of, <laughs> it's really like, very the rest different. of the body on, it was yeah. incredibly active, <laughs> and it's like, just looked incredibly strange. And also he'd be speaking with his normal accent, <laughs> yeah. but with a different head, and I, it was very, very disturbing. Uh, tell me there were a bunch of photographs on your phone of you just wearing regular clothes but with the penguin prosthetics yeah adidas tracksuit bottoms and a wife beater and uh <laughs> and my, my favorite is a dressing gown i was in a, i was in a dressing gown now rob you've mentioned that you looked up how bats fight to prepare for this role tell me zoe in your youtube search history it says cats fighting oh yeah tons of it tons and no seriously lions cats 
I watched so many. It's and it's like it really just it's a it's just a fun thing. Like to, a domestic cat or a, both. Yeah. Both. They're both like <laughs> equally as interesting. Yeah. One's obviously more intent. One's just pretty cute. But I always like the kind of random. Yeah, just a random well, like, cat scratch. Like <laughs> why? <laughs> why? Did you but do that's that? what that's what was so interesting about it is that you really you can't see it coming, and that really is this. That's what I got from it. That's the strength. It's like yeah. this like cute little moment, and then all of a sudden, pow. <laughs> There is a legit crazy hiding way chase in this movie. Like it is jaw droppingly off the charts. Can you talk to me a bit about shooting that? Because it looks like your eyebrows are about to get burnt off. I have friends that saw that man and, and they thought it was just incredible the chase. They said, one friend who's a filmmaker said it's, it, it rivals um, French Connection. It's really because it, obviously I was there for weeks. You know, Matt took weeks to get this footage. Just every single, it was a night shoot, of course, just going out to shoot more and more and more and more and more. And he, God, it must have been like a puzzle to put together. Um, yeah. yeah, it was pretty, it was pretty hairy, some moments in that. Because Matt wanted to do, the director wanted to do everything as in camera as he could. He wanted to stay away from CGI where at all possible. For Matt to do all of this in camera meant hours of being thrown around in the car and literally turned upside down in a rotisserie. They had like a rotisserie thing with the car in it and they put me in it. Belt me in, tie me in tight, and then they go three, two, one, and they just spin around, 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 around. Okay, yeah, okay, they stop it, and, and that was it. But it was, it, look, any, it was all just a joy. It, truly, it re, even sitting in the makeup chair for four hours in the morning because I knew what the result was. I knew how yeah. strong the makeup was. So everything was just, I was a child in a sweet shop. Oh, you're really not as smart as I thought you were. Paul, I've got a quick one for you. Have baristas already started leaving question marks in your coffee? No, and I'm ready for it. I, 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 yeah, I'm, I'm, I, give me that, give me that delicious fancy coffee with a well-executed question mark. Uh, yeah, I think if you wear the the, the mask, I should and the, wear the, and the mask cellophane. so they know it's me. It'd You're right. More yeah. inviting. Of that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon to keep up to date. You can listen to my Radio 1 movies and TV podcast screen time on BBC Sounds. And you can find these interviews in full on BBC iPlayer by searching Movies with Ali Plum.